what's up my folks i hope everyone's doing good got angel up in the brooder She's been breeding her got her rusty covering her i've been breeding dogs for the last two weeks straight it's been a blast having all kinds of cool people here i got to see all kinds of friends i had not seen in a while but um anyhow i hope y'all have been doing good lots happened from hurricanes to bust to um stone city getting thrown in the boiling pot and all that shit man i've had a lot of emails about that and you know like i said guys you can't party like it's 1999 no more and like i when and you know years ago i, I at least probably two years ago i told you guys that there was an international task force international Okay, that, regardless of what your local, whatever, I don't care if you got the local sheriff in your back pocket. International. Okay, when I get pieces of advice like that dropped in my lap for to be dropped, I, I let them, I, I I think it's important when I say them things. I'm not just saying it for to talk. I'm not a hypocrite. I know how the game was. I mean, I used to play the game, but it's a totally different world now. You got some dumb criminals. I assure you. If you can read about it on something, so can the police. And they already have. I want you to grab that with her tail and pull it into her. <laughs> but, uh, what, you want to play with it? Well, go ahead. But, yeah, I mean, it, anyhow, you know, even when I participated in that, venue of the dogs years ago when it really wasn't nearly as dangerous as now um i i learned long right off a of rip don't put nothing in no magazines you know all them guys want to chase clout and make champions and try to title dogs and see their name printed and shit and all that and then the police show up and they got a fucking the journal before you do i mean kind of makes you realize hey man that's kind of stupid. Probably shouldn't do that, but people do it. I mean, you're on, you got people online nowadays and trying to put on convent, anything, inter, it, international convent, it just because it's, there's a whole, if, all my advice to you guys, if you think you're going to play it, the international game in these dogs is you know the law, know the rules. Okay? Go in there and uh, somebody sent me the uh the whole thing about stone city you know you can read everything that's all you gotta do is download it on your thing and you can read uh everything that what the charges was and everything okay know the law know the rules if you're going to play that game even if you move out of the country that's what i mean by international it goes all over the place like everywhere so just when I, I'm saying that because I feel it's important to say. I mean, I know none of my folks would ever do that, but somebody might be watching this, be thinking about it. Because we don't condone any animal cruelty, anything illegal, any a illegal activities. And you know, I say animal cruelty, but people all got their own fucking idea what cruelty is. Some people might think it's cruelty with we let a dog shoot down in a coyote den and pull the mama out. You know, um, there's different, uh, that's where the animal cruelty gets into a fucking weird little slope here. You know, cer certain states have different things, ideas on it. You know, I'm breeding these dogs to catch wild swine or livestock like, uh, you know, domestic swine or any kind of, anything you need caught. That's what I'm breeding these dogs up to do. And, um, you know, people will say what they want, but it's not... I'm not breeding these dogs for any illegal purpose. Let me clarify it like that. Okay? And I don't want you guys to do it. I'm not breeding these dogs for you to to, to be matching. Alright? Um, if you want to use them, like when I sell a prospect, I, I'm, you know, I sell him for you guys to use in your program and hunt with. I'm selling him to you to hunt with. Every, except the, like the olive dog, um, and that was just to sell her to somebody that could, uh, take her further along with her rehab than i could at the time um but all the other prospects i'm selling them as hunting dogs you know i don't even sell them for brood i want them to hunt first and 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 that's what we sell them for is to hunt hogs with you know that's what the guys are buying them for and hopefully they work out real good and then they can use them as their stud dog you know watch out buddy 
you know, get you an old stud like that. Proven good game dog. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, you got to understand what the game, because that's all I'm saying, you know, because it, it, it's coming to bite a lot of folks in the ass. And uh, a lot of them really just kind of like that, that situation, you know, I had to back away from a lot of my friends at the time because they were wanting to go and play with that same crowd like uh put everything in the journal run ads in the journal and shit and i try to tell them man that journal is a big mouse trap that's a big old mouse trap and you're gonna get your ass popped up in it and of course you know most of the guys that get into these dogs are not in them very long they're not lifers and um they uh they can do that shit and get away before they're even recognized you know and that's kind of what happened there got in got out before they recognized but like breeders like myself we're trying to breed a family of dogs and, and breed working strain working good game bulldogs now we're doing it legal but those are the people that they're trying to to get like like with stone city i don't know them guys don't uh don't quote me on this but the, a lot of the stuff that he was getting from what i've seen on the arrest thing like what they were charging him with and uh i guess it's what they're charging him with uh it was mostly like talking to people internationally selling little prospects okay for for the pit for fighting i mean clearly you know he was saying that um and that's what you know you can't go look at the commerce laws that they passed and that welfare act go look at all that shit and, and you'll understand more and i mean it's five years he's probably gonna do I mean, they don't put together investigations like that to go just slap somebody on the wrist or, you know, squeeze what kind of juice they can. You know, that's what the main thing. Let's squeeze the berry. But anyway, guys, I wanted to tell you guys that, man. I mean, it's been a while since I've been on here. We've been putting together great breedings. I mean, I've done all kinds of shit. We got, uh, we got the Abrams Bull Snaps dog covered. We got the, um, we covered up a real nice bitch i like a lot from uh texas to with rusty last week juanita and we got a angel got covered last night by rusty i'm gonna try to cover her again tomorrow night then we got tank he's covering a uh a, a nice red boy patrick bitch that's, that's real nice so we got a lot of shit we're covering up oh and i want to go ahead and give I'm not the kind of guy that likes to, you know, I don't never down nobody else. And I'm honest about dogs and uh, I give people their props, you know. Um, this dog was bred, put together by, I guess, Arrowhead Kennels. He was, I got the dog as a gift because the boy was moving. He had to move. Come here, girl. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Come on. But she turned into a good one, man. She's turned into a pretty good little hog dog. Um, and that's what we wanted. She's a pretty good little catch dog. Um, she's, uh, you know, pretty good. So you got the parents of this dog still. So that, that I would say she's on, on a top flight level. You know, when I say top, top flight dog, you know, she's going to have potential to be a top flight dog. Um, she, uh, she got cut one time in the neck and a couple times on the side, but she, she stayed out of trouble. Looked like pretty good, you know? Um, she got a little brush beak, but nothing bad. People always that talk about cut gear, you know. Sometimes you just don't have time, you know. You just don't got time for all that shit. Um, so, but yep, she's turned into a little nice little bulldog. I, uh, now we let her mature out, right? And she's mature all the way. But she's in heat now. We're gonna cover her back up a little rusty as well. Um, she's just now starting to swell, so she'll be going in the box here in a couple days. But anyhow that's uh what's going on with that but you know uh it's gotten to the point where you know even putting titles or mentioning titles can get your ass in a jam that's one thing i like about these uh a new paper service uh and I, i'm gonna get the information for you guys but i've seen the papers on it. they don't even put the titles on the dogs that's which i thought was pretty cool um you know people want to be recognized but sometimes you know the no, the ones that know the dogs they know the dogs they don't need the titles you know what i mean but um anyhow guys y'all just y'all y'all stay safe y'all stay out of trouble and uh 
I'll hit y'all back. Y'all guys that got them pups, give me your name. Give me a text. Let me know you're at the same place because I know how quick things change sometimes. But um, y'all stay safe and uh, y'all keep on bulldogging.